Good afternoon. Welcome to Channel News Banter. I'm your news reporter today, Kelvin Kaur. And I'm Eugene Ko. COVID has impacted the whole globe and disrupted most form of business activities and also... Wait, what? Real estate? Hey, director, what the crap is this? I hire you leh. You purposely make me say one, is it? What wow, that's it lah. Refund, man. Refund! Refund! COVID has impacted the whole of Singapore's economy hey, today, run, run. from residential no to commercial. Today, we explore the streets no to hear more from our real estate agents, business and homeowners to hear what they have to say. Yeah. Actually, right, I already plan right, to sell and buy, upgrade my house already. Then, uh, I already called my agent already. He helping me to sell and then buy. But end up, suddenly, circuit breaker, top com all in. Then my agent come and tell me, uh, Cannot go physical viewing. Must do virtual. See me virtual. See me ah. Virtual tour ah. Virtual tour. How to buy? Huh? My agent like that is can ah. Can ah. Virtual tour can buy ah. Online shopping can buy ah. Online shopping buy a house is it? Then I might as well go Lazada find house. Correct. Well, you see, he wanted to upgrade his property, but he don't want to do virtual viewing. He don't want to do Zoom call with me. Also, don't want to look at properties through video. Then if I cannot confirm his purchase. How I dare to sell his property? Later he sleep where? On the street man! You see my commercial business? The entire road, all the shops are mine. But then COVID happened. All the shops had to close. But then I think got coffee shop, got cafe. At least open lah, people come and tapau lah. Then I had the Atas restaurant, quite a few in front. Open, got great food, come and deliver, so okay. But then the retail shops, the furniture shop, all the other shops, all had to close. Tapak, tapai, mua mua. Actually, no lah. All those are actually grab food delivery one lah. Come and deliver la la move, you know all those things? Yeah, but usually empty one. So you tell me, how am I going to survive in this situation? You tell me, how am I going to survive? So you heard it. Prices are affected. And this pandemic is here to stay. Even our multilingual minister has said it. Right now, let's follow Eugene to hear more from an expert. Don't know which area to buy? Do not know what to compare with? Are you overloaded with unnecessary information? Look no further! I have a handbook of over 100 plus 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 projects just for you. Get yours now! Welcome back. We now have our expert, Cockroach, to share with us on his insights. Hi, I'm Coach Kaur. Let's look back to the SARS period. We saw a slowdown in transaction volume and prices was affected. But historically, data shows that volume usually recovers shortly after. In fact, prices and volume increases sharply after every crisis. Home loans are at their lowest in recent years. New housing loans are between 1.3 to 1.8% now which are lower than the range of 1.8 to 2.3% last year. With the cost of borrowing being lower than ever, this makes it attractive for homeowners and buyers. Thank you, Cockroach, for your technical inputs. With that, we can conclude that there is still movements in the real estate market. Thanks for tuning in to Channel News Banter today. I'm Eugene. Kelvin. God bless Singapore. Singapore, one way.